Well, tonight we bring you the story of a mid-Michigan family who never knew half of their family tree was just down the road. Digital reporter Andrew Burkle had an exclusive sit down with recently united siblings. He's here for you now and Andrew, this is quite a story. Yeah, Lauren, the TikTok video I'm about to show, with a little help from DNA testing, had the power to bring together five brothers and sisters after more than 40 years apart. Josie Herrera began her search in honor of her mom, who passed away in 2015, and their journey isn't over yet. This is my mother, Magdalena. I am looking for four half-siblings that were taken away in 1970 and in the late 1970s. Maria Cristina Salinas, Gerardo Herrera Jr., Martin Miguel Herrera. They were all born in Lansing, Michigan. Josie Herrera sent out this cry for help on TikTok in April and waiting on the other end. I always knew that I had brothers and sisters out there. Sitting in order of oldest to youngest are Maria and Jerry, who were adopted out together. Martin, who was by himself, and Philip and Josie, who were raised by their birth mother. They were all reconnected through Josie's message in a bottle. I seen a video on TikTok that she had posted looking for us. And she had a picture of my mom with Jerry and I. And she had our names and birthdays and stuff like that up there. And I was like, I instantly messaged her. I said, I'm right here, sis. I'm right here. <laughs> After being separated from their birth mother, Maria actually lived in a foster home with Martin for a short time before she was adopted out by Jerry's new family. She didn't realize it was her brother she was leaving behind. Shortly after making the connection with Josie on TikTok, Maria and Jerry figured out what Martin's new last name might be. A couple Google searches later, and there he was. She had called me uh, late in the evening and I thought it was a scam, <laughs> to be honest. I really thought it was a scam. You know, I told her, at first I told her, uh, you have to give me some time. You know, I gotta, you gotta give me some time, but probably an hour, two hours later, I say, I'll meet you on Thursday. Since they've met, it's been an instant connection, but it wasn't necessarily easy coming around on the idea of a whole new family. Did any of you guys ever have second thoughts about wanting to connect at any point? I th was thinking, um, that I didn't want to because my mom couldn't see her kids. So why should I? I, I just didn't think it was fair. What changed your mind? Meeting them, all of them. What was that like emotionally? Oh God, man, it was uh, heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. Having spent her whole life with Jerry, Maria didn't know how her brother was going to take the news that he had a whole other family living just down the road. When I told my brother to come over that I had something important to tell him, I wasn't sure how he was going to take it. So when I did tell him, I took a step back to let him process everything. Instantly, I could see a change in his attitude, his whole demeanor. And it warmed my heart because he's never been like that before. I always question, you know, why? Why was I given up for adoption? Was it not loved? Was it not wanted? Um, but to come find out that wasn't the case, you know. And I was very much wanted, very much loved, very much talked about. One of the things uniting the siblings is their search for their oldest sister. Janie Lou Salinas. They haven't found her yet but they're driven to give their sister the same feeling of reassurance that they've experienced. I just thank God that we found our family. I'm not letting her go. <laughs> As five of the six siblings have reunited, the search has certainly narrowed, but the Herrera family won't stop, not until they complete the family tree, because that's what their mother always wanted more than anything. I remember growing up and I would catch my mom crying and I never understood why. As I got older, I understood she was remembering their birthdays. I want to find them for my mother. It was her lifelong wish to find her children. And I still want to make it happen for her even though she isn't here. Thanks for the help.